Hello everyone, and welcome back to another die cast review. This could not have been a like a better perfect timing uh, because Gregson has been indefinitely suspended from Legacy Motor Club, and Josh Perry will be replacing him. If you're wondering why, plain and simple, right? Very, very punishable. I, I agree. He liked a meme. Yeah, you can't be doing that. I mean, it's just you can't do it, man. I don't know why you would do such a thing. Uh, now, okay, in in defense, it was an offensive meme, but, I mean, between me and you, I would have liked it too, honestly. Just, that's just humor. I mean, it's not a big deal, I don't think. It's literally just a picture. I mean, that that's all it is. You don't have to like it, but it's, you know, it's not for everybody. Nothing is for everybody. I mean, that's just kind of how it works. I don't know, man. I think a... Like, a suspension for one race, okay, fine. It's still dumb, but fine. Uh, but indefinitely, that's crazy. That's super, super much more than it already is. So, uh, I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at the uh, Sunseeker Resort paint scheme. Uh, I actually had this lined up before it was even announced. Uh, and I, I partially think it was part of a scheme to get Gregson out of that ride, because they were talking about replacing... Uh, him with John Hunter Nemechek. They, that was like kind of a rumor that we was kind of talking about. So it may may have been just another, you know, nail in the coffin, so to speak, to just kind of, you know, one more step to getting him out of there. Now, obviously, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if they, they just actually got sensitive about the meme and punished him for it. But it would be very devious if they did that to try to get him out of that seat. That would be wild. But anyway, on to the paint scheme. Enough about the controversy. Uh, Noah Gregson. I love Noah Gregson. He's my second favorite driver. He was my first favorite driver in the Xfinity series. Uh, but I like him. I like Noah Gregson. Uh, I just like the personality of him. I think he's a pretty cool guy. Sucks to see that he was literally punished for just liking a meme. But you know what? It is what it is. I would talk about it, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at the Sunseeker paint scheme. I do actually really like this car. I'm really liking the gold trim. I think that looks pretty neat. And it's just a unique paint scheme overall, so let's get this bad boy out of the box and take a closer look at this beautiful die cast. Here's the die cast out of the box, and man, this thing is slick. I really like how this car looks. It looks a lot better than I thought it was going to. Uh, yeah, dude, this thing looks very, very nice. I like the gray. I don't know why, but that gray and like a, uh, more like, well, like a teal color, that goes good. That goes good together. That goes uh, pretty nice, and I don't know why, but it, just, it looks good, so... Uh, interesting, but I do like this car a lot. This is a very neat car. Uh, brand new sponsor, so that's going to be uh, pretty cool for some variety for Gregson. Instead of, like, Wendy's or something, but, you know. Alright, so. Let's get on to the hood here. We do have Sunseeker Resort right there. I do have some of this little blue stuff coming coming down. It looks pretty good. Got the hood louvers there. I actually like how they highlight. Like, it's kind of highlighted. That looks really good. Got the Sunseeker logo right there. Slap in the middle. I like how that looks. On to the banner here. We got Gregson, and of course we got the uh, Chevy bow tie. Now for some 2023 cars, uh, I saw on Instagram a good buddy sent it to me uh, that they're actually adding more detail to the banners, which isn't a lot. But on the Chevy bow tie, you know how this is white. It's been white since what 2021, I think, since they put it or start putting the banners up here or the bow tie and stuff up here. Uh, or no, maybe no, it's been longer than that. Maybe it was 2020. I don't know. Either way, uh, they started doing the uh, white Chevy bow ties on the banners, and now they're actually making it like a bronze, like a more in-depth Chevy bow tie. They didn't add the little vent here, sadly, but oh well, it's a little more detail, I guess. It's something I've kind of been harping on for a while. Got the 40s right there, some more of that little blue lines kind of going around. Got the, uh, almost like a, not a gold, not like a very like shiny metallic gold. It's more of like a, uh, I want to say like a dull gold, I guess. I don't really know how I would say that, but I mean, I don't know. It still looks pretty good nonetheless. Sunseeker Resort behind that. Gregson on the rear name banner, of course. Got Sunseeker Resort once again on this deck lid down here. Featuring a cat hair because, you know, cat hairs are cool, I guess. Let me get that off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so Sunseeker right here on the back end. 
I like the, how this back end looks. Looks pretty good. I got the gold trim on the bottom. Looks like sand. The blue looks like some waves. Maybe it's like some beach or something. I'm not really too sure. Uh, Sunsea Resort Legacy Motor Club Camaro. Got the uh, rookie stripes on the back here. Got the 42. Uh, got the uh, Camaro bow tie. Of course, got or the Chevy bow tie. Then you got the uh, tail lights. Uh, pop rivets on the back for the spoiler back here. I love how they do that now. That's amazing. Even though it's not a race version, they still have the pop rivets. I like that. I like that a lot. Got some more of that uh, tannish color, that goldish color down on the bottom. Sunseeker Resort, nice and big on the side. I like how they take up that space. Looks pretty good. Um, looks like just some waves kind of splashing on to the, uh, the sand side there. Looks pretty good. Um, something going on here. Looks like they have a new little trademark, almost like... Uh, Oh, what is that? Thor Sport. It's almost like Thor Sport. Where they got the uh, little top for Legacy Motor Club there. And got God, what is... Oh, I can't tell. Anyway, no Graxon. Very clean. I like that. Got the 42 uh, Cup Series. And, of course, we got the 75th Anniversary logo there. Uh, Goodyear. Goodyear Tires, of course. We got Sunoco Rookie of the Year Contender. And then uh, the Sunoco logo there. We got the uh, Chevy bow tie on the front, of course. Looks like the headlights are a little high up. Not really a huge deal. I do like the uh, black splitter, though. It looks pretty good. Um, but, yeah, the headlights are a little high up, and they're not super, like, you know, fit in there. But they're, I mean, they're close. Close enough. Uh, so, yeah, this paint scheme actually looks pretty awesome. I really like how this one turned out. Just a very nice and slick paint scheme. I'm actually about to review another Noah Graxon car. Uh, a race win. This is, what, Texas? Nope, Bristol. My bad. Uh, this the Bristol win, I'm going to be reviewing that. And then the Texas win will be after that one. That's not only the not only the Noah Gragson cars I'm going to review. I got a couple more. Uh, I've got the four packs still we're going to review for uh, you know obviously the uh, four in a row, and then I got a custom die cast that Bowman was supposed to run, and uh, obviously he did not. And uh, my God, I gotta stop saying and. Uh, it sounds stupid. Anyway, my apologies. <laughs> so we got the. Halloween paint scheme in the 48 car. I don't remember where it ran. I want to say Las Vegas, but I think I'm wrong. Um, it that uh, Noah Gragson drove that one, and I'm going to be making a race version of the Martinsville race uh, from well, whenever Bowman was out because I saw that in person. The only reason I'm making that one was because at the time Gragson was not, or no, Gragson was in the Cup Series, I guess. Uh, so, it was my two favorite drivers combined, so it was Bowman's Scheme and Gregson driving it, so I just figured I'd make a custom, because, you know, why not? So, whenever I get around to that custom, I will be showing it off, obviously, and I'll be, you know, doing a review and everything, so that will be a little bit down the road, but we'll get there nonetheless. So, that will pretty much do it for this die cast review. Uh, I do have another Gregson car I've been trying to make for a long time, uh, the Bristol Win. For 2020, I've been trying to make that one forever, uh, but it's just kind of been sitting over there. I haven't really been touching it, so I do need to fix it, or, uh, you know, do it one. I've actually made it before, I believe, uh, but I was going to remake one. But anyway, uh, this car is really nice. I do give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, very sleek looking car. I don't really think I'd change anything. Uh, maybe make the gold a little more gold, if that makes any sense. Uh, but I think it's not supposed to be like a gold. It's supposed to be more of like a sandy type goldish color uh, because of it being a resort. It's supposed to be like vacation-y. It's like a vacation vibe. So, I mean, I get it. I'm, I'm not going to make my changes, you know, knock off points on this car. It is a very slick paint scheme. It looks really nice. I love the uh, blue and gray. I've kind of said that already. I like the number on the roof, too. I like it being orange. Uh, it's not super, like... I don't know, I wish they kind of like did it a little different, like outlined it in black, uh, not instead of gold, like I think they could do a very thin black trim around the four and the two, like the orange part, or the gold, I mean either one would be okay, uh, but I mean I give it a solid 9 out of 10, this doesn't blow me away by any means, but it is a really good car, and it's a rookie car, you know, good to have in your collection, and with this being a Legacy Motor Club car, with it being Gregson, oh excuse me, uh, it might get rare. I don't know. It, it That can easily happen. People like to uh, grab whatever they can whenever something happens to a driver, whether it's a retirement, uh, whether it's some, you know, punishments where they get moved to a different team, or if they just move to a different team in general, or if they win a championship. 
they like to grab whatever they can and, you know, make it rare, so... I would absolutely not be surprised if this was one of those cars, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. So with that being said, uh, that will be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.